Good day everyone. Once again, I'm Mr. N and today I'll be discussing about solving uh, quadratic equations by extracting square roots. Let's have the solution set or sometimes called roots. These are values of the variable that will satisfy the equation. In short, ito yung sagot sa quadratic equation. The value of the variable that will satisfy the equation. Ibig sabihin, when you substitute that value, no, value of the variable to the equation, uh, it will satisfy it. Solving quadratic equations can be done by extracting square roots, by factoring, by completing the square, or by using the quadratic formula. So this time, we're just going to focus on solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. So, quadratic equation in the form of x squared is equals to k. So, ito yung lagi nyo sa tandaan. To use uh, or to solve by extracting square roots, kailangan yung quadratic equation nyo ay nakasulat in the form of x squared is equals to k para magamit nyo yung square root property. And it states that if x squared is equals to k, then x is equals to positive or negative square root of k. So, ang nangyari, parang in square root nyo lang both side doon sa x squared is equals to k. Okay? We're in k is a non-zero real number. Now, let's have example number one. What is the solution set of x squared minus 100 is equals to zero? So, we have this uh, given equation. So, ang goal natin, first thing to do, is kailangan makagawa tayo ng equation, quadratic equation in a form of x squared minus k. In this case, kailangan yung x squared nasa left side at saka yung k, which is a certain number, kailangan nasa right side. So, para matira sa x squared sa left side, we should remove negative 100. So, alam naman natin, to remove that, we should add the opposite of it. And the opposite of negative 100 is positive 100, right? So, let's add neg uh, positive 100 on the left. And since you add uh, 100 on the left, you should add also on the right by addition property of equality. So, mag-add na tayo ng uh, 100 dun sa right side. And now, let's simplify combining like terms. So, 100 minus 100, that is 0. So, ang matitira na lang sa left side is x squared. Is equals to simplify the, uh, the terms on the right. So, we have... 100. x squared is equals to 100. So as you can see, nakasulat na siya in the form of x squared is equals to k such that k is equals to 100. Now, we can now use the square root property wherein we're just going to square root both sides of the equation. So square root the left side, x squared. So we have a square root of x squared and then square the right side, so square root the right side, so we have uh, positive or negative square root of 100. As you can see, wala tayong nilagay na positive or negative sa left side kasi ang nasa loob ay variable lang naman. Okay, so um, variable is just a representation of the unknown value. So, then sa right side, uh, nasa loob ng radical sign or the square root sign ay 100. So, doon tayo maglalagay ng positive or negative. And now, let's simplify. What is the square root of x squared? Okay, the square root of x squared is x is equals to positive or negative square root of 100. What is the square root of 100? Okay, very good, 10. So, we have positive or negative 10. So, kung makikita nyo, dalawa yung roots natin isang negative at saka isang positive. Yan yung ibig sabihin ng degree 2 or second degree equation. Ibig sabihin ng quadratic equation ay may two roots. 
So, in this given equation, uh, quadratic equation, sa example number 1 natin, it has two uh, roots, the negative 10 and the positive 10. So, we have now the solution set, negative 10 and 10. So, kapag susunod kayo ng final answer ninyo, a solution set, so kailangan naka-enclose siya using the braces, grouping symbol braces, okay, tapos kailangan nasa left side yung um, smaller uh, number and nasa right side yung bigger number. Okay? So, negative 10 and 10. Next, let's have example number 2. Find the solution set of x squared is equals to 0. So, we have the given equation x squared is equals to 0. And as you can see, this uh, quadratic equation already written in a form of x squared is equals to k such that k is equals to 0. So, madali na lang to. Let's just apply the... Uh, square root property, wherein we're going to square root both sides of the equation. Square root of x squared and square root of 0. So, let's simplify. The square root of x squared is x is equals to plus the square root of 0. Okay, 0. Take note of this. No need to write the positive or negative before 0. Why? Because 0 is neutral. It is not positive nor negative. Neutral. Wala siyang sign. Okay? Kaya nga, di ba, kung mapansin nyo, sa number line, nasa gitna siya. Wala siyang sign. So, 0, tapos to the right, from positive 1 up to positive infinity. No? Positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, positive 5, and so on and so forth. And then, uh, from 0 to the left, from negative 1 to the left, Okay, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So, nasa gitna 0, neutral. It doesn't have a sign. Okay, so x equals to 0. As you can see, isa lang, no? So, our solution set will be 0. Eh, sir, bakit isa lang? Sabi mo kanina, dalawa ang solution set. Ibig sabihin, dalawang 0. And since parehong 0 lang naman yan, ibig sabihin, you can just write 0 in the solution set. Next, let's have example number 3. Solve for x in 3x squared plus 15 is equals to 0. So, the given equation, 3x squared plus 15 is equals to 0. Kailangan magawa natin yung form na x squared is equals to k. Okay. This time, we need to remove 15. No, doon sa left side. And to do that, we're going to add its opposite. So, the opposite of 15 is negative 15. So, we should add negative 15 on the left and add by addition property of equality, we should add also on the right by negative 15. And simplify, combining like terms, negative 15 plus 15 is 0. So, ang matitira na lang is 3x squared. And on the right, we have 0 plus negative 15. That is negative 15. Okay na ba yan? Nakaform na ba tayo ng x squared is equals to k? Not yet. Because, beside x squared, we have 3. Kailangan x squared na lang yan. And to eliminate uh, the 3 beside x squared, we should... What? Meron dalawang way. It's either you multiply both sides by one third. Or, divide both sides of the equation by 3. Mas madali yung divide both sides by 3. Kasi ganito ang magiging itsura niya. Okay? So, we divide both sides by 3. Kapag nag-multiply naman kayo both sides by 1 third, same. Ganyan pa din yung magiging itsura when you simplify. And now, let's divide. 3x squared divided by 3. Maka-cancel na natin yung 3. So, ang matitira lang is si x squared. And negative 15 divided by 3, the answer is negative 15. When you are multiplying or dividing unlike sign integers, the answer is always negative. So now we have x squared is equal to negative 5. So as you can see, we already have the or we already have the form of x squared minus uh, x squared is equal to k, such that uh, 
k is equals to negative 5. And now let's apply the uh, square root uh, property. We're going to square root both sides of the equation. So square root of x squared and square root of negative 5. What is the square root of x squared? The square root of x squared is x and then the square root of negative 5. Okay, still negative 5 because... Uh, 5 is not a perfect square. Although, may square root siya, kaso nga lang, you can use a cal scientific calculator and the result will be a decimal number. And now, we have now the uh, value of x, positive or negative, square root of negative 5. So, our solution set will be negative, square root of negative 5, and square root of negative 5. But, as you can see, Merong negative sa loob ng radical sign. Okay? Kung papayagan kayo, ito na yung sagutin nyo, then, so be, then, be it, no? Pwede na to. But, bawal kasi ang negative sa loob ng square root sign or radical sign. So, kailangan natin ma-eliminate yan. So, we need to simplify further. Okay. So, once again, we have this uh, given equation. And take note of this. Take note of this. Did you know that i squared is equals to negative 1? Oh, man, alam nyo na. Wherein, i means imaginary. Imaginary number. Okay. So, we have the solution set. Negative, square root of negative 5, and negative 5. So, gagawin natin. We can just simply factor it out, no? the negative 5. Ang factor niya, factors niya ay negative 1 and 5. Tama? Negative 1 and 5. So, pinag-iwalay lang natin. So, the, the next step, we just uh, substitute uh, the i squared to negative 1. So, negative 1 becomes i squared since they're equal naman. i squared is equal to negative 1. So, now we have here negative of square root of i squared times 5 and the square root of i squared times 5. So, using the radical, uh, the law of radicals, we can just simply distribute no, the radical sign or the square root. So, we have now uh, negative square root of i squared, the square root of 5, and the square root of i squared, the square root of 5. So, then distribute ko lang yung radical sign or yung square root sign. And now, let's simplify. What is the square root of i squared? i. And since 5 is not a perfect square, may iwan siya sa loob. So, it will become like this. Square root ng i squared ay i. So, we have negative i square root of 5 and i square root of 5. So, our solution set is negative i square root of 5 and i square root of 5. Ito dapat yung final answer. At kapag nagpasagot ako sa inyo, Ito lagi ang final answer kapag may negative sa loob ng radical sign. Okay? Sige. Let's have example number 4. Solve for x if 2x squared minus 6 is equal to 0. Uh, using the given uh, equation, 2x squared minus 6 is equal to 0, kailangan makagawa tayo ng x squared is equal to k. So, to do that, we should uh, remove negative 6 on the left. So, to do that, we need to uh, use the addition property of equality. So, we, we're going to add the opposite of negative 6, which is positive 6. Add natin sa left side. And, kailangan din na tayo mag-add sa right side by addition property of equality. So, now, combine like terms. To simplify, so 6 minus 6 is 0, so we have now 2x squared is equals to 6. And as you can see, we're not done yet because we have 2 beside x squared, so kailangan ma-eliminate siya by dividing both sides by 2. Kung ano yung katabi na x squared, yun ang ipanti-divide nyo both sides. So this time, ang katabi na x squared ay 2, so we need to divide both sides by 2. 
So, 2x squared divided by 2 cancelled out 2. So, na matitira na lang si x squared is equals to 6 divided by 2. That is 3. x squared is equals to 3. So, now we already have the uh, form of x squared is equals to k such that k is equals to 3. We can use now the uh, square root property by uh, square root the both side of the equation. By squaring both side of the squaring root tama ba? both side of the equation square root x squared and square root 3 square root of 3 now let's simplify what is the square root of x squared x and since uh, 3 is not a perfect square so dyan lang sa loob so positive or negative square root of 3 so that's the solution set we have negative square root of 3 and square root of 3. Now let's have example number 5. five the, find the roots of x minus 5. Quantity x minus 5 raised to 2 is equal to 16. We have the given equation quantity x minus 5 squared is equal to 16. Let's check, no? Or transform natin siya in the form of x squared is equals to k. Kaso kung makikita nyo, tingnan nyo ito. Imagine ninyo na yung parenthesis ay x. So that is x squared is equals to 16. Ako mag imagine mo. So meaning to say, nakaform na tayo ng x squared is equals to 16. Wherein, yung x mo ay yung x minus 5. At saka yung k mo, yung 16. Di ba? Okay. So, we can now use the square root property. Square root both sides of the equation. So we have the square root of quantity x minus 5 squared is equal to the square root of 16. Let's simplify. Uh, the square root of x uh, quantity x minus 5 squared ay x minus 5. Kung makapansin nyo, kinanceled out lang natin yung exponent 2 at saka yung uh, square root sign. No? is equals to positive or negative square root of 16 and the square root of 16 is 4. So, we have now positive or negative 4. And, uh, to find the value of x, kailangan x na lang yung matira sa left side. At to do that, we should uh, remove the negative 5 on the left. To remove that, kailangan tayo mag-add ng opposite ng negative 5 which is positive 5. Para maging 0 na yung negative 5 dun sa left side. At matira si x. And since you added the 5 on the left, you should add also on the right by addition property of equality. Then simplify. We have now x is equals to positive or negative plus 5. And as you can see, we have 2, no? We have positive 4 and negative 4. So kailangan natin separate yung dalawa. We have negative 4 plus 5, and the other one is 4 plus 5. Let's add. Negative 4 plus 5, unlike, the, unlike signed integers, so we should subtract and copy the sign of the integer with higher absolute value, and the integer with higher absolute value is 5. So we should copy the sign uh, of 5, which is positive. So 5 minus 4 is 1, and the sign is positive x equals to 1. And then on the right, we have x equals to 4 plus 5 and x equals to 9. So we have two solutions or two roots. The roots are 1 and 9 or the solution set 1 and 9. Any question? Okay, very good. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from this discussion.